Hey everybody, Shane here. So uh, a quick need has arisen to make a, uh, a how to play video for Crossing because uh, it is such a good game. Uh, it plays up to six people, super easy to teach, super fun to play, uh, some good strategy, um, but it's just one of the best real quick, real fun games uh, that, that you could pretty much play with anybody. Because the way you play is basically on your turn, or everyone's gonna go at the same time, you're gonna go one, two, three, and on three, you're all gonna point. And uh, basically, that's all you have to do. So, <clears throat> so how's the play? So, you start with a uh, number of mushrooms, one less than number of players. It plays up to six, so it comes with five mushrooms and six player cards. So everyone takes uh, one of their player cards, these little characters. They're all the same except for the picture. They all do have a nice little different background, like their little vehicles that they have. Um, so, so anyway, uh, you put two gems on each mushroom. Now, there's a red, blue, and gold gem. And at the end of the game, <clears throat> if you have, for each set of red, blue, and gold you have, you will get five points. For every loose gem of those colors, you will get one point. And for every clear gem you have, they are worth two points each. So you play until the bag is empty and, uh, and see who has the most points. So let's see how it plays. So on the count of three, everyone's going to point at a mushroom. Now what happens is, if you're the only one pointing at a mushroom, you will get the gems on it and you just simply put them on your card. If more than one person is pointing at anything, no one gets that thing. Okay, so let's say everyone went one, two, three, and two people were pointing at this one, two people were pointing at this one, and then the other two people were pointing at these. So this person gets their gems, and let's say it was actually this person over here, because you could point at anything no matter where you're sitting. So now, now you will refill the empty gems, or the empty mushrooms, by putting two on each. And then you will put one on the ones that were not taken. Okay, now you do it again. Now here's the thing. Now that there are gems on people's cards, uh, you can point at someone's card and steal from them. Of course, once again, if more than one person is pointing, you get nothing. Uh, you can also try to make deals, you know, uh, but you probably wouldn't do it at this point. But here's what happens. Now, to save your gems so they can't be stolen, instead of pointing at something, you can cover your card, which basically protects your gems. And then you're going to slide them off, and here's what will happen. So let's say this person's going to protect. So everyone goes, one, two, three. This person protects. So if somebody tried to steal them, they would not get them. So after that round, they would slide them to the side and flip their card over. So now you've got their little vehicle that they're taking off. They're going to go take their gems home. Now, the next round, they sit out, okay? So if they were the only ones sitting out of this round, notice now there's one person per mushroom. Now you can make negotiations. Let's say this person says, I would really like the gems on this mushroom. And this person says, I'll take this one. I'll take this one. I'll take this one. Everyone says, yeah, okay, we're all good. Let's all take the one we want. And then everyone goes one, two, three, and someone steals that person's when they were pointing at this. And you can break the deals. You don't, you're not held to them, but you can try to make them. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes it doesn't, but that's the game. It is a lot of fun. So, so that person sits out around, and then maybe that person protected. Then they'll sit out, and then these people, and could be two or three or four. Uh, it could be a lot of people sitting out. Um, maybe, I don't know if anyone would ever do it all at the same time, but I haven't seen that. But anyway, so you, you go through until the end, and any, any gems just on top of your card that you haven't banked at the end of the game are still yours. So you play until you pull the last gem out of the bag to fill the mushrooms, and then you play that last round, and then you see who has the most points. So once again, uh, every set of red, blue, and gold gets you five points. Every gem by itself... Uh, outside of a set will get you one point. So if you don't have any complete sets, the remaining gems will give you one point, and any white clear gems give you two points. Uh, I forget the exact number uh, of gems, but there's I think oh, there's only seven clear, and I think there might be 15 each of the other colors, something like that. I could be off, um, but anyways, you could easily find that answer online. But there it is. I just wanted to do a quick video on how to play this game because you really should get this. Everyone should own this game. It is so much fun, so easy to teach. I played it with my co-worker software developer, uh, co-workers, <laughs> friends, um, last Friday, and they all loved it. I've played it with my in-laws. They loved it. 
everyone who's tried this game has liked it. It's fantastic. It plays three to six. A three-player game is eh, not quite as exciting. The more players, the better. I think BGG says five is best. Um, not sure why, but six is six was a lot of fun too. Anyway, hope you like this video. Hope you go get this game. It's phenomenal. And uh, that's it. End of line.